of my office, I guess. The lighting is really bad and Michael's gonna be really upset with me <laughs> when he sees this. Um, but I just got some really cool stuff at Ulta. I should have been buying groceries, but I was buying makeup. Um, and I wanted to show you guys. So I heard about this, um, basically it's like a dupe centric company that makes affordable palettes that dupe like the Naked palette series or the Lorac palette or um, they recently came out with a bunch of chocolate bar Too Faced inspired palettes. Um, I got this golden chocolate part bar on a whim um, a couple of weeks ago and I really liked it um, and I was nervous because it was only $15 but it's really pretty and it looks really nice um, on my skin tone. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? No? I'll show you my finger. Focus. The foils look really nice. Um, they say that some of these, it's a mixture of foil and um, mattes, but the mattes are more of like a satin finish. I tried this one out and it didn't muddle together throughout the day. I did this like really pretty, like red eye, red like Valentine's Day look with this color right here. And then I just took, I think, Naked 3's black heart and like smoked it out. And it looked really nice and it lasted all day long. Um, I did spray my brush with some all nighter and then patted, um, dipped it in and then patted it on, but it lasted all day. Today, I got the Makeup Revolution Neutrals versus Neutrals and also this Makeup Revolution palette uh, it's called The Fortune Favors the Brave, and I've been, like, mouth-watering over this one for, like, weeks. So, this one retails for $18 at Ulta, and I think this one... I don't know how much this one. This one was $12. Um, I also got a NYX highlighter, which is, like, gleaming for days. But I just wanted to check them out and give you my first impression um, on camera. So, all right. The only thing that I don't like about, I guess you can call it drugstore makeup, is that you don't really get to like look at it, feel it, dip all of your body in it. I still have like, it looks like a bruise, but it's not. I was like testing out a lot of different eyeshadows while I was there and I just look like a mess. But I do a lot of um, research online first before <laughs> I buy my stuff. Um, I don't really like impulse buy anything. I obsess over it for like weeks and then I get it. Um, so this is the packaging, it's kind of like a matte finish on here and then a glossy back. And then this one comes with a brush, I think. Yes, it does. And these are actually really pretty. Right before I bought this, I almost put it back and I was like, oh, let me look like on Pinterest and see if these are really colors that I want. But it comes with a little blending brush. And then these are the colors. And it looks like all up, well, I guess it's a mixture. But they're really pretty like neutral berry colors, I guess you would call these. And then these are kind of lavender-ish, like variations of lavender and gray. And then you have like your transition colors. Let's see, I'm gonna dip very lightly. I'm not gonna like dig my finger in it like some people do. They're like, look at that pigment, it's amazing. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that. 
Um, I'm, this is the color. It's like this really pretty peachy color. And then neutral. Zipper finger in that one. Oh, that one's really pretty too. It's a darker, like more mauvey, but still peachy color. But I really like that one. And again, this one was $12, so super excited for that. And also, I'm gonna um, put swatches probably of everything, like underneath, so that you can like actually see them. Because like the lighting in here is terrible. Probably gonna get yelled at about it. But I like to like like show you like like the size and everything. Because like this palette, when I saw it I, online, I thought it was like like a Morphe like huge freaking laptop size thing. Um, in this one you get 30 colors, and the one that I just kind of barely swatched, you get you get let me count. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get 16 colors. More of a makeup person. But you get 16 in this one. And there's 30 in this one. And like I said, I thought this one was gigantic. And when I <laughs> showed up at the store, I was like, oh, and you're itty tiny bitty. Um, which is fine for $18. I mean, come on. Come on. Okay, so this is the Fortune Favors the Brave palette. These colors are really pretty. You're really gonna like them, I think, when I actually, when you actually get to see them. So this is the size of the palette. It's about the size of my hands. And it's kind of even smaller <laughs> in person. It's cute. These are all the colors here. And for this one, I think these foil colors, apparently Makeup Revolution does their foils like really, really well. And I would have to agree on that. Like the, the golden chocolate bar, like the foils are gorgeous. The color payout, especially on my skin tone, is girls of mixed mulatto-ness. Like a neutral color just kind of blends into your skin. And even if it shows up when you first put it on during, throughout the day, it's just like, that's just my eyeball. It's my eyeball color. This one also comes with a little brush, which is nice. And like I said, this one has 30 colors. What sold me on this, like I said, was for these um, like galaxy foils and the fact that they had blues. I'm told that since I have brown eyes, I should wear blue and then my eyes will look lighter, but I don't think it's gonna happen, but I like blue. Like this one right here is a really pretty blue with like flecks of gold in it. Um, the purples are also really gorgeous. And then they have like these neutral colors and this orange. I'm really interested in like trying out this orange with maybe some like blue eyeliner or something. That would be a little crazy. I would say that the size of these little circles are like a penny, like the size of a penny. Um, you're getting 16 grams of makeup and it does have mineral. Oh, that is $18. Um, let's see, I'm gonna swatch this blue with little flecks of gold in it. Pretty nice. It's got glitter in it, which that's I guess that's what the gold is. And then like they all come with this um, little plastic sleeve that has all of the names for them. So this is the NYX Illuminator in the color Ritualistic. It's like super white, but it also has like this, like when I swatched it in the store, it has like this really pretty kind of goldish which they say with my skin tone I'm not supposed to wear but I like to highlight for the gods so yeah you can't really tell in this lighting either I like this highlighter I'll probably wear it a lot and I'll probably be wearing a lot of this makeup revolution stuff there is another 
a palette called Unicorns Are Real. <laughs> and then there was another one called um, Mermaids Are Real or some shit. I don't know. But I'll probably be buying those as well. And Unicorns Are Real, I think, retail for $7. Um, the Naked Dupe. Uh, the Naked 1, Naked 2, and Naked 3 dupe um, palettes that they sell were all $7. Um, and then they also have like a clearly like Kat Von D Shade and Light um, dupe palette and that one I think retailed for $15. And it was kind of a toss up of whether I was going to get this one or if I was going to get that Shade and Light one. but. Um, we'll see. So, I hope you guys enjoy the swatches. I know that my skin tone isn't generally catered to in the makeup world. I mean, like, I've, I watch YouTube and I see girls really dark or really light or a white girl that's, like, tan. And none of that really, like, translates when I put my makeup on, it looks totally different. Like, you know, if a white girl puts on the same eyeshadow as me, it's gonna look different. And I don't think like a, a darker girl would make the same makeup choices as, as I would because I'm kind of like in the middle. So I'm just trying to like show you guys a different skin tone and uh, hopefully it helps you guys my fellow Milanos out there. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.